Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can record solves with your webcam and have the timer be in some part of the screen. It's really easy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So first thing you're going to do is download this program. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description. Uh, OBSproject.com is the website. And uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to download it. Uh, it's available for Windows and Mac, so pretty sure you'd have one of those. Go ahead and download it and follow the steps in the installation. Um, so once you do that, uh, go ahead and open up the program OBS. Um, go ahead and open up mine. Uh, now what you're going to do is, you'll probably get this and you won't have any of this stuff here like I do. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, add scene. You can name whatever you want, uh, like see I have mine named certain things, so I'll just name it uh, 3 or 3 solves with webcam, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, once you do that, you gotta add recording devices. So what you're gonna do is add, uh, the first thing you should add is the video capture device, which should be your webcam. So go ahead and, for this, I'd select integrated webcam, and then that's pretty much it. I just click OK. Um, and now what you need to add is the monitor capture. This is the timer. So once you do that, what you're gonna do is, um, select subregion. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up this window, uh, move this aside so I can see the timer, and then select region. Now you're going to pull these points and just get the timer. Um, if you cl accidentally click away, that's fine. You can just hit select region again, and you see it left at the same point. So you're going to move this up and just position it around the timer or the time, like so. There it is. Uh, now I'm going to click OK. Um, and once you've done that, what you want to do is hit preview stream. Now this is a live streaming program, but you can still use it to record uh, your screen or other webcam videos. It's actually really convenient for that. So you're going to hit preview stream. And as you can see, there's the timer in the corner. Uh, now let's just say you mess this up and it isn't the position you want. You can just right click it, um, properties, and then you can edit it uh, to get it the way you want. Now after you've done that, if you look here, the edges of these are not all the way around. Um, so what we're going to do is right click video capture device, position and size, we're going to hover over it, and then we're going to do fit screen. And then now for this, let's just say we don't want it up in the left hand corner. What we can do is right click it, position and size, and then we can move it to the right edge if we want. Or we can um, move it down. Uh, it doesn't really matter just what position you want, I preferably like the uh, top left. Um, Alright, so now after you've gotten that down, you're going to hit stop preview. And then you're going to go to settings, because you need to be able to record. Um, so once you are in the settings, go to broadcast settings. Um, you can ignore most of this, you just want to hit this. Um, this will probably be unchecked once you have yours, so check it, and then hit browse. And then you're going to name the file whatever you want to name it. Um, like for me, I just name it whatever puzzle I'm going to be doing. So for, uh, if you're going to do 3 by 3 you can just name it 3 by 3 solves. Um, save it, I'll apply, then OK. Now if you hit start recording, stop recording. Um, I'm just going to do this a few times so you can see what happens. Um, now I'll go over here into my files. And if you look, it saves it as 3x3 three three solves 1, 3x3 three three solves 2, and then just the first one right here. Um, it gives a number after it, uh, so you just want to remember which ones it is. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys out, and you can now record um, webcam videos with the timer on screen, or you can even add the stats. Uh, hopefully you, you can figure that out for your own. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.